Hey guys, I am Georgia from thehappyhensters.com and welcome back to the Henster Kitchen. Today, we are making one heck of an impressive main course. We are gonna make my blackberry herb crusted pork loin. This sounds all kinds of fancy, when in fact it is very simple to make. I have two and a half pounds of a pork tenderloin. I'm gonna make just a few little cuts in it. I made four cuts per loin, and I have taken two cloves of garlic that I have just cut into nice little slivers. I'm gonna put one sliver of garlic into each slot that I made. Now for the seasoning. I have one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried basil, and one teaspoon of dried rosemary. And then I put in half a teaspoon of my kosher salt and enough black pepper to make my soul happy. And then I'm just gonna put my fingers in here and I'm just gonna give them a good pinch and I'm mushing it all together to encourage these leaves to really let out as much flavor as they can. I'm gonna sprinkle this right over the top of my loins. Ooh, it smells good already. Take just a minute to kind of push it into your meat. Pick up any loose herbs that are on your board. We don't want to let any of that go to waste. I'm going to transfer these into a 9 by 13 casserole dish. Now I'm going to do just a small drizzle of olive oil right over the top. We're just adding a little bit of fat in there to encourage our herbs to give us all they got. Now this is gonna go into a 425 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. What we're looking for is an internal temperature of 150 degrees. While our roast is baking, we're gonna get going on our sauce. I'm gonna take about a quarter of a sweet Vidalia onion. We're gonna thinly slice and then mince our onion. Run your knife through this several times so that you'll get a nice fine mince. And let's add that to our pot. We're gonna add in about a teaspoon of olive oil. Let's put this on a medium high heat and start sauteing. While our onions are starting, I'm gonna go ahead and crush and peel one clove of garlic, and then we're gonna do a nice fine mince on it as well. Our onions are starting to saute nicely. We're gonna take one pinch of kosher salt, black pepper to your taste. I'm gonna let this saute for about one to two minutes or until my onions are starting to get tender. Our onions are starting to get nice and tender. We're getting some good caramelization that's happening there. So now I'm gonna add in my one clove of garlic that we minced. Stir that around just until that garlic starts getting fragrant. And there it is. It literally takes 15 to 30 seconds. Now I've got my balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add one quarter cup. Turning my heat down a little bit more there. That vinegar is going to pick up all of the caramelization that was on the bottom of your pan. And now I am using just a blackberry jam. I prefer seedless for this recipe in particular. I'm putting in one half of a cup. Stir just until your jam melts into your vinegar and onion and garlic. I've had our sauce going for two to three minutes probably uh, over a medium heat. I was waiting for it to just come to a boil. 
Now I'm going to reduce my heat down to a simmer and I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes and let it reduce just a bit and intensify these flavors. We are at a perfect 150 degree Fahrenheit internal temperature. I am going to allow this just to sit and rest for 10 to 15 minutes. That's going to allow it to finish cooking with the residual heat, but it's also going to allow all the juices to return to the meat and make our meat so moist and delicious. This pork loin is so tender and moist and so full of flavor. You are going to love this one. If you've enjoyed this video, if you could please like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever it happens to be on the platform that you're watching, I sure would appreciate it. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video very soon.